हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू प्लूटस आई एस माइसेल विवेक राज एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल टॉक अबाउट द बेसिक आइडिया अबाउट पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन राइट सो दिस पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सब्जेक्ट बेसिकली डील्स विद द एक्शन पार्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट वॉट इज दैट एक्शन पार्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट so action part of the government simply means that whatever government is doing is part of public administration for example if government is providing the education and how exactly government is providing education by having by establishing government schools colleges okay if government is providing the health care facilities definitely it will be also coming under the public administration if government is providing for visa facility it is also public administration if government is distributing the covid vaccines or it is providing covid vaccines to the people it is also public administration if government is dealing with the climate change definitely public administration if public if government is doing dealing with disaster management it is also public administration so when in the beginning i mentioned public administration is about action part of the government simple me uh, that simply means all these things or anything else you can think of if government is providing the process for railway reservation the process for you know uh, process to become the ias officer the certain eligibility criteria is there for upsc everything will be coming under the public administration so now the thing is very clear the public administration is something which is very related to us is something which we are already aware of simply it is coming with some new name we can say otherwise we are very much aware of on daily basis we are dealing with the public administration your municipality officer your uh, you know the municipality uh, is providing so many services so you are already availing the services you are avail already experiencing the public administration that is being uh, taking place in your community this is one okay now we will understand the public administration little in more detail then we will understand what is the meaning exactly okay so i believe this much is very clear that whatever government is doing is some or the other way it is coming under the public administration and what is the meaning of action part of the government okay now you can see in board two words are written here one is public and other is the administration administration right public plus administration so here the meaning of public is the meaning of public is government or state okay and administration administration it is comprising of two words again administrate administrate okay so these two words collectively stands for i'll explain everything everything to you to take care of sorry to take care of and to we can say look after look after right so public means government or the state administration mean that is administrate comprising of two words it is it stands for to take care of to look after the public okay so simple meaning of public administration we can say 
that the government to look after the people the government to take care of the people right when we are calling a, a, when we are talking government to take care of people the government to look after the people so it is very subjective if you are taking care of someone it may be related to anything they may be requiring house to live they may be requiring clean drinking water they may be requiring clean air they may may be requiring clean environment right they will be requiring the better transportation facilities better schooling better health so are you imagining the ambit of public administration it is too big whatever government is doing it is coming under the public administration so here the thing is very clear public administration is about bringing the welfare of the people by whom by definitely the state by definitely the government okay so we understood the meaning public administration is about bringing the welfare of the people and that welfare can be anything like it may be related to one person wants to go abroad state should provide the smooth process so that that person will be able to you know go to the country of his or her choice so this is something public administration making things easier for the people big bringing welfare of welfare to the people okay now when i am highlighting that it is about bringing the welfare of the people it is about taking care of the people so i mentioned it is very subjective one fine day you will say i want to you know uh, visit all the religious places of india i want to you know visit all the national parks in india whether it will be uh, it will be provided by state or not or for uh, for that matter any you know wish that you are having so it will whether public administration responsibility government responsibility will be there to provide that to you or not it is a question okay so to resolve this question we have so many views in public administration they will be defining the public administration you know up to some extent which will uh, and uh, those views will be making clear what exactly public administration is because the way we are saying government to bring uh, about the welfare of the people everything will be coming under this right and what will be coming and what not will be coming is also very questionable so that's why we have so many views to understand the nature of public administration the meaning of public administration so in this particular lecture a uh, small video lecture we can say we will understand certain views not all and definitely everything will be covered in our classes right so here i will talk about the some of the views so for example firstly we have the narrow view narrow view or uh, i can call right both the two views because they are very related narrow and broad views narrow and broad views right please focus well so that we will understand what are these views why we are discussing this because we are trying to understand the meaning of public administration okay so according to narrow view public administration deals with the deals with public administration here i'll write public and deals with executive part of the government part of government right and here we will note i'll highlight also this thing executive okay so according to the narrow view when we are facing difficulty in understanding what all will be coming under the welfare of the people what all will not be coming these views we are helping actually so according to the narrow view public administration deals with executive part of the government okay what is this executive part of the government the executives that we are having for example the we have the pm we have the com we have the 
कैबिनेट सेक्रेटरी कैब सेक ओके एंड सो ऑन प्रेसिडेंट वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑल दो यू नो द डोमेन ऑल दो यू नो द एरिया यू नो द पीपल हु कम्स अंडर द एग्जीक्यूटिव और यू नो so these offices are coming coming under the executive this is one just to make you understand because i know you are the beginner so you will not be able to understand otherwise we know that three organs are there executive legislature and judiciary so the role of executive is to make policy uh, sorry is to implement policies right is to implement policies and to make broader policy decisions this is the government executive that to not the entire government the top brass leaders the cabinet ministers will be part of this prime minister will be part of this the top level decision making we can say is comprising of executive okay so if government is deciding that agni veer scheme will be coming agnipati scheme will be coming so this decision is being taken but how exactly that decision will be implemented the laws will be framed by the legislature and the decision the scrutiny of those laws over the administration will be taken care of by judiciary so all these organs we have and all these organs have different task right and why we are not understanding these things well because we don't have watertight separation of power what executive is doing what legislature is doing is not clear but if we are talking about the us then there is water tight separation of power between executive legislature and judiciary okay so executive is what president and the other representatives in case of us i am talking about president the president of us and other representatives who are helping president in administrating the things like signing foreign treaty okay bringing about welfare in the administration bringing about welfare of the people so executive president of us alone can take the decision with the help of certain uh, office bearers the representatives right then do you think this is available in case of india it is partially available it is partially not available who is make who will be making the law in legislature legislature will be making laws okay but in us they will be complete so it is things are very clear in case of us so what simply i want i wa i am just conveying here is that narrow view says that public administration is that which deals with executive part of the government that means which deals with what prime minister is doing what council of minister is doing and what top level decisions are being taken by even the president it is deal public administration deals with that only okay this is the view of uh, this is the understanding of narrow view now we have the broad view when we will have broad view so you will understand more so broad view says public administration deals with executive legislature and judiciary and judiciary and judiciary all right so why this is called a narrow view because it is saying just one part out of the available you know the out of available that is e three organs l and j the narrow view says public administration is about this only what executive is doing this is public administration that's all but the broad view is highlighting that no sorry public administration is not only about the executive and it should not be only about the executive but it should be about legislature also it should be about judiciary also q because according to the broad view the legislature is also making difference in people's life or not judiciary is making difference in people's life or not yes or no definitely yes because if the farmers bill 
वर पास बाय द पार्लियामेंट दे वर मेकिंग डिफरेंस इन फार्मर्स लाइफ सो यस लेजिस्लेचर इज ऑल्सो हैविंग ए रोल टू प्ले सो हाउ वी कैन सी दैट पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज ओनली अबाउट द एग्जीक्यूटिव पार्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इट इज अबाउट लेजिस्लेचर ऑल्सो एंड जुडिशरी वेन इट कम्स टू जुडिशरी judiciary takes the proactive measures many a times many times judiciary takes pro proactive measures you can talk about the banning of firecrackers at the time of diwali in uh, you know in delhi banning of liquor shop within the 5 km radius of highways and uh, banning of diesel vehicle uh, in delhi so many examples don't you think if the judiciary is banning the firecrackers in delhi at the time of diwali is not helping people yes definitely it is it is helping people to have the clean environment it is saving people's life to judiciary bhi to role play kar rahi hai logon ko welfare provide karane mein now we will go back to previous definition humne starting mein kya bola public administration is about bringing the welfare of the people so kya aapko lagta hai only the executive is bringing about the welfare of the people certainly no according to the broad broad view it is about it is about executive also legislature also and the judiciary ye sab log contribute kar rahe hain it is executive is also contributing legislature is also contributing and judiciary is also contributing so every organ of the state is having the contribution certainly so that's why we can say here the meaning of public administration was different and when we move to this broad view public administration meaning changes all together not not all together all together is wrong word here but it changes earlier there, there that was a narrow definition that public administration deals with only executive but here we are saying that it deals with legislature judiciary and one more thing here i'll write and their interdependence and their interdependence right that means broad view not only talks about these executive legislature and judiciary but it also deals with their interdependence how they are interconnected how the executive legislature and judiciary are connected how they are helping each other and how they are benefiting people okay so these are the two views just to understand the basic meaning of public administration similarly we have so many views like the political views like the process view market view subject matter view we will understand all those views in our upcoming lecture so this is all for the day thank you very much we'll be meeting in the next video thank you